हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स ग्रो आई होप यू आर वेरी वेल एंड डूइंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ सो टू डेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज बर्नोलीज इक्वेशन इट्स एजम्पन्स डेरीवेशन एंड फाइनल फॉर्मूला सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले सो इनिशियली वी विल सी द बर्नोलीज प्रिंसिपल स्टेटमेंट दैट वॉट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द बर्नोली प्रिंसिपल so the bernoulli principle states that the total mechanical energy of the moving fluid comprising the gravitational potential energy of elevation the energy associated with the fluid pressure and the kinetic energy of the fluid motion remains constant correct so what is the meaning of this statement let suppose this is a cross section of a pipe and water is flowing in this direction correct so the water has three types of energy the first one energy is due to the gravitational potential energy of elevation correct whenever water is flowing it is flowing at some elevations correct at some height from your datum or whatever reference you are taking so it has some elevation so it is a one kind of energy that is due to the elevation and it is known as the gravitational potential energy correct the other one energy is the energy which is linked to the fluid pressure correct whenever the water flows it exert a pressure correct so the water has the energy due to its pressure also correct it is the another form of energy which water contains and the last one type of energy is kinetic energy of the fluid motion correct so if water is flowing it has some certain velocity correct so due to this velocity the water has the kinetic energy correct basically kinetic energy is linked with the motion of fluid whenever any object any fluid which is moving it has some velocity and due to the velocity it has the kinetic energy so here the water has three types of energy gravitational potential energy due to its elevation the energy which is related to the fluid pressure and the another energy is the kinetic energy which is due to the motion of the fluid and the sum of these three's energy remain constant because as per the law of conservation of energy the energy cannot be created neither it can be created nor uh, it can be destroyed but it can only transform from one form to the another other form correct so the total energy will remain constant correct bernoulli's principal formula what is the formula of bernoulli principle that now we are going to discuss bernoulli's equation formula is a relation between the pressure kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy of a fluid in a container the formula for bernoulli's principle is given as follows correct so the bernoulli equations give the relation between three terms the pressure the kinetic energy that is nothing but the half m v square correct and the gravitational potential energy that is mgh correct so the relation between the pressure kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy is linked here correct so the final form which is the bernoulli's equation is written as p plus half rho v square plus rho g h equal to constant where p is the pressure which is exerted by the fluid v is the velocity of the fluid rho is the density of the fluid and h is the height of the container or h is the elevations correct the bernoulli equations gives great insights into the balance between the pressure velocity and elevations correct so there are three terms each terms denote uh, a different meaning first one is the for the pressure second one is for the velocity and the third one is for the elevation now whenever we are using the bernoulli's equations or whenever we derive any of the equations there are certain assumptions we need to take care of 
so that we can derive any of the equation with some ease correct the first one assumption in Bernoulli's equation is the fluid should be ideal fluid should be ideal that means the viscosity of fluid should be zero there is no resistance between the flow of the fluid the flow should be steady steady means there should be no change with respect to time in terms of the fluid uh, parameters like the velocity pressure discharge all the properties with, uh, with which is linked to the flow should not be changed with respect to time there should be no energy loss the fluid should be incompressible what when, uh, why it is required because whenever we are assuming that our fluid is incompressible the density of fluid can be taken as a constant correct because your fluid is not compressing whatever pressure the fluid is exerting even though the fluid is not compressing so that the density of fluid rho can be taken as the constant otherwise if fluid is compressible the density of fluid will change and rho will not be constant you need to uh, you need to take account for the variation of the density as well but as we are assuming that fluid is incompressible we can take a constant value for the rho and the flow should be irrotational as well so the assumptions are flow should be ideal steady no energy loss incompressible and irrotational now how we can derive the Bernoulli's equations he here you can see a figure correct so the work done on the fluid is given as correct so first we will uh, write the work done correct so the work what is work work is nothing but the multiple of the force and distance correct work is the multiple of force and distance that uh, at what particular force helps to move the object for a particular distance correct so if you multiply the force and distance it will give you the work so here we are assuming <coughs> two definite volumes correct this is the first volume the volume of this particular water uh, column is dv and another one is this one it is having the same volume as dv the cross section here is a1 the cross section here is a2 the width of this water column is dx1 here whereas here the width of this water co uh, column is dx2 correct so how we can uh, write the work done so change in work done correct whatever change that is been in terms of the work done can be write can be written as dw equal to work done here what is the work done here f1 is the force which is exerting on the surface and dx1 is the displacement correct so the f1 into dx1 is the work done here similarly for this particular cross section f2 is the force exerted on this section and dx to the displacement at this particular section correct so f2 into dx2 is the work done so change in work done can be written as dw equal to f1 dx1 minus f2 dx2 now what we can write f1 p1 is the pressure which is exerting over the a1 area correct so if we multiply pressure with the area it will give us the force correct so force f1 can be written as p1 which is the pressure exerting over this section and cross section area is a1 similarly force exerted on this section can be written as the p2 pressure exerted on the surface into area of this surface area of this cross section that is nothing but a2 so the f1 can be written as p1 a1 whereas f2 can be written as p2 into a2 now p1 into a1 uh, dx1 minus p2 a2 into dx2 so if we look at this term a1 dx1 what is a1 into dx1 a1 is the cross section area and dx1 is the width of water column so it is the nothing but the volume volume of water dv correct 
so this a1 into dx1 can be written as the dv here similarly a2 into dx2 because we are talking about the constant volume correct so this a2 is the cross section area here and dx2 is is the width of water column so if you multiply both it will give you the volume and the volume is dv here so here we can write the dv now dv can be taken as the common and the other, other term which will remain is p1 minus p2 correct so we know that the work done on the fluid was due to the conversation uh, conservation of change in gravitational potential energy and changes in kinetic energy correct so here we have calculated the change in work done why it is change first one the elevation has been changed initially water molecule was here at this particular elevation now it has been shifted to this particular elevation so there is some change in gravitational potential energy here the velocity is v1 here the velocity is v2 so velocity also has been changed so there is something change in kinetic energy so what now uh, we will do we will calculate the change in kinetic energy of the fluid so how we can write the kinetic energy kinetic energy is nothing but the half m v square so the change in kinetic energy is written as dk and it is we are uh, calculating the change so initially the kinetic energy at this section is half mass is m2 and velocity is v2 that is square minus similarly for this particular section it is half m1 into v1 square correct so here the volume is constant that is why mass is also constant and the mass can be written as the density into volume correct mass can be written as density into volume because what is density density is denoted by rho and rho is simply equal to the mass upon volume correct so mass can be written as volume into density so here m2 can be written as rho that is the density of fluid and volume is dv correct so this m1 is equal to m2 is equal to rho dv so we can take the common half and rho dv and remaining term will be v2 square minus v1 square now the change in potential energy what is the potential energy potential energy is written as m g h correct what is the potential energy m is the mass g is the gravitational constant and h is the height above the elevations a height above the datum whatever datum you are assuming it can be center line of pi base of pi or anything correct so the change in potential energy is here potential energy is mass is m2 g is constant and the elevation is y2 here we are taking this particular surface as the reference and we are measuring the elevation from here so this is the potential energy at section 2 2 similarly for section 1 the potential energy is mass is m1 g is gravitational constant and y1 is the elevation above the datum so here similarly m1 and m2 both are same because density and volume are same it can be written as rho into dv g is common so the final term can be written as rho dv into g y2 minus y1 therefore the energy will remain conserved the energy equation can be written as dw change in work done is equal to change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy correct so we have calculated this term dk can be write it as and du we have write here now dv is common so we can cut dv dv and dv so what is the remaining term p1 minus p2 equal to half rho v2 square minus v1 square plus rho g y2 minus y1 now we can rearrange the above equation so if we shift p2 in right hand side it will be plus p2 and uh, here it is minus half rho v1 square if we shift here it will be in plus half rho v1 square plus rho g y1 so if we rearrange this above equation the standard form of Bernoulli equation will be look something like this so in other word we can write as p plus 
हाफ रो वी स्क्वायर प्लस रो जी वाई इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ बर्नोलीज इक्वेशन हाउ वी कैन डिराइव द बर्नोली इक्वेशन वॉट इज द फाइनल फॉर्मूला ऑफ बर्नोली इक्वेशन एंड वाट आर द बेसिक अजम्पन इन द बर्नोली इक्वेशन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो मेक श्योर यू हिट दैट लाइक बटन यू कैन सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल लेट्स ग्रो फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज थैंक यू वेरी मच वंस अगैन फॉर गिविंग योर